Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. While we're here in the UK, we've managed to do a lot of traveling and we had the most amazing 9 day vacation in the south of France. We've been to Paris before, but this region has always been on our bucket list and we are so happy that we made it. We explored 11 different places over the course of our vacation and we want to show you what they're all about. Our trip started in the Côte d'Azur, also known as the French Riviera, and we went through the Verdun Gorges, into Provence and ended in Avignon. In this video, we'll be taking you through days three and four of this memorable adventure. If you want the specific details of our trip in the Côte d'Azur or just want to follow along, we've created a travel guide that you can get delivered into your inbox for free. There's a link at the top of the description, click on it and it'll take you to a page where you can get it. We thought this might be super useful for people who want to get some ideas for their own French Riviera vacations. Inside the travel guide, we provide a quick three-day itinerary of things to do in and around Nice based on our own trip experience and have added potential alternatives to consider. With that being said, let's get to it. It's our third day in Nice. Yeah, today hoping to check out some places within Nice and then spend the afternoon along a beach. So it should be a relaxing day, or at least that's the plan. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's go. We got a quick breakfast at a local cafe and then headed towards the Notre Dame Basilica. This is a Gothic cathedral that was built in the 1860s to make the city center more French and modern. Its architectural details, stained glass windows, and the two 31 meter towers were quite impressive as we visited the site. Next, we walked over to the Cathedral Saint Nicholas de Nice. This was quite a sight for us. We've never been or seen a Byzantine style Orthodox church before. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to take any photos or videos inside, but the interior paintings and incense smells created this really unique atmosphere for this place of worship that we hadn't really experienced before. Afterwards, we had lunch at Chez Moi. We ordered a snail appetizer, which was actually really good. For mains, we got a cannelloni and then their special chicken breast. After lunch, we went to Place Massena, which is this 19th century giant plaza lined with cafes and neoclassical buildings. It was fun to stroll through the square and take some cute photos. We then headed into Old Town Nice. It was the perfect day and we strolled around town soaking in the atmosphere and appreciating the vibes. There were many cafes and shops. It was just a lovely time to explore this historic town. It was now time to hit the beach. The beach was quite busy and the beach chairs cost 15 euros to rent for the day, so we decided to have a drink at a beachside restaurant and relax under some shade. After spending a few hours by the beach, we went to do a coastal walking trail. This was an amazing walk and we would highly recommend it for anyone visiting these. After that long hike, we walked back into town and ate at La Flora. We ordered pastas and had tiramisu for dessert, the perfect way to end off a really fun day. Hey 
guys, it's Friday. We're in Antibes right now. We're gonna spend the day here. Let's go check it out. Let's go. From the train station, we walked into town and stayed along the harbored walls in order to see Le Nomad, this faceless, massive sculpture facing the sea. Next, we went to the Picasso Museum, where the artist lived for some time in 1946. It is the first museum in the world to be dedicated to the artist and houses a collection of his works. We aren't art experts by any means, so we will admit it was a bit difficult for us to appreciate the artwork, but nonetheless, it was still really nice to see. Afterwards, we strolled through Old Town and came across a farmer's market which is full of fresh groceries, flowers, and spices. What's not appreciated here in the video is the variety of aromas that hit you as you enter. We continued exploring in Teebs and had lunch at a local restaurant along the beach. We ordered a carbonara pasta and a fried seafood dish, which was really good. We then made our way across town to go find Billionaire's Bay a little cove where billionaires supposedly bring their yachts. It was a bit of a trek to get there, but is quite scenic along the way. The main highlight of our time in Antibes was the coastal walking path. This was even better than the coastal path we did the day before in Nice. There was a wide variety of scenery with some amazing views throughout. This hike took us two and a half hours to complete from start to finish, so make sure to bring lots of water. We headed back to Nice via train and plopped ourselves down in a nearby restaurant, had dinner, and then called it a night. And that ends day 4 of our trip. Check out our travel guide below for the complete details and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our next video. We hope to see you there.